the U.S. said that like someone set the setting rate uh, differently, or like ah. the default setting was. Whoa, rate. hovering over DK. We're gonna see sauced up DK versus Xavier. Also, uh, Hunter, can you fix Xavier's name? Yo, we got Donkey Kong on oh, no, stream. No, that's right. That's right. My bad. Why not? Just throw out Mr. Monkey Man. Hoping to make some magic happen. Mr. Monkey. Who doesn't like Mr. Monkey Man? He's Random big and kills he's buff, are fun. And he's got a tie. Do you think he plays soccer too? Yeah, I can tell you he's played baseball. <laughs> Actually, you know uh, what? He's been in strikers. Donkey Kong knows his way around a soccer ball. I think he's been I in charge. I think Nick is going to need to play soccer if he wants to have a chance of beating uh, Mr. Xavier Weepin. Oh, he hits him immediately. My man is so raw. giant bunch. DK's got his BK. Man, you don't see the uh, sauce of DK very often. Always a treatment. It comes. Oh, and he cheats them with the down air. Ew. That's the problem with DK. He just dies so quickly. His recovery is so exploitable. It just hit him from above, and he's dead. Of course, it's, it's, it's exploitable, but like, DK is so good at taking stocks too. And the down special uh, up there, taking the stock. Now it's an even game all of a sudden. Yeah, Gant, or, uh, DK is such a glass cannon. Just randomly can kill you, but also just randomly gets killed. Ooh. Ooh, catch them with the down air. The find the extension, so but. So I, I think if we're gonna want to see Sawstep uh, succeed in this match, we're gonna need to see him play as like Psionic did uh, when Psionic played Xavier, and that's play aggressive. Don't don't give Xavier any room to breathe because the moment you do, he gets deep breathing, he gets uh, he gets the sun ball, sun salutations, and he gets uh, the soccer ball, and you don't want to let him get that. And it's been working out so far. He's been doing a great job at holding advantage, positioning. Uh, yeah, this being this, aggressive. Uh, I want to call it a counter pick because, it, I mean, he does play a lot of DK, but, mm -hmm. man, it, it's working pretty well. Xavier's still clapping back, and, you know, we're talking about how much damage Donkey Kong can do. The Ding almost Dong got, almost taking it. Almost got DKO. DKO? Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was like the Ding Dong, no? no? I'm pretty sure it's called DKO in this game. I'm not pretty sure it was uh, the Ding Dong. Oh, and the, the side B almost spiking. But now we fit uh, Xavier is looking at a very mean 118%. Will that be the stock? Cargo throw Kills. taking the stock. The that's, DK works. That's a very strong start by Sox. Taking it 1-0 over Xavier. He's such a strong DK. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's hard for DK not to be strong. I mean, he's just kind of good. He just, I mean, he, he hits you. <laughs> but he also gets hit too. Looks like the next stage is Battlefield, if I saw that correctly. <laughs> Maybe you're gonna find some kind of a judgment, probably hoping to get a little bit more of these uh, combos that we know him a lot more for. Yeah. Uh, a lot of these platform extensions is what Xavier's made his bread and butter with. But I also know that I'm not sure how oh, much Sauce is what is, is, is in practicing DK. It's more so a secondary than a main. But I remember uh, Kanga doing some crazy stuff with DK on Battlefield. We saw Xavier, uh, Xavier was fishing for that nair and up smash confirm he's so known for. Oh, in the reverse! Sawstep is aware of it though and just positioned for it. Great recovery by Sawstep. The back air still looking at 171%. His hope will never die. The jab. But his stock might. This is looking really tight. Uh oh! Dog, no way! Out. Oh, oh, he, he goes the air dodge but didn't quite get the forward air. Oh. Oh, he just missed the down B. And the Wii Fit back are taking it. Uh, DK living absurdly long at like 170 something percent. Soccer ball actually saving him didn't get hit by the forward air because he got hit by the soccer ball afterwards. Didn't get the true combo. Uh, almost like the soccer ball. Oh, DK the missing, the, missing the up smash. smash. And like. We fit uh, can stall for so long off stage that DK can't, you know, take advantage of it. And that's like one of DK's strengths uh -oh. is just... See the confirm. I, we're seeing a lot more of Sawstep ledge trapping than edge guarding, you know. And that's going to be a really essential in this match. I'm looking for the up air, kind of hoping to catch him with uh, not ready to DI it properly and maybe get some kind of combo off of it. Oh, the ground pound gets... Uh, oh. The Nair is getting so much mileage off of it. Uh, Xavier back air, wow. 
Ooh, oh, the giant punch clearly not working. Is this it? Look, oh, uh, I better read it. Oh! That was a great play by Sawstep. Get, getting the the first air dodge rating, like, oh, he's not getting ready for another one. But then he just goes over and just hits him right in the face. Sawstep's playing this so well. I, I can't imagine how difficult this, this must be. Uh, like, DK. Oh, I, whoa, saucy down air. My man's got the sauce. Although, was that, I think it was down air who hit that hit? Yeah. Okay. That was fastball down air calling out that roll. Wow. Sawstep did his homework and the extra credit work. Oh, uh, th 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 oh, oh my goodness! goodness. That down air hit through the platform and he takes it! That was insane! Sawstep looking so dominant. In DK games. needs his BK. Give DK his BK. He was so surprised by the DK, but it's working so much. I, I don't I don't imagine it. I, I did not expect this. I was like, okay, we're gonna see uh, Pit and Dark Pit here. But nope, we're seeing DK and then Wow. So classic. That downer goes for so long that I I'm not sure if anybody's ready for that. Wow doesn't even begin so to like, describe what we're seeing right now. Imagine if, uh, Im imagine, DK. imagine you're Xavier, right? You come in the tournament as like the number one seed. And then you just you're getting destroyed by like someone secondary. You got combo to Sheik for forever and then now you're fighting DK who kills you with two hits and oh. uh, you're right, that's such a mentality shift too. Uh-oh. Uh, he, oh, he got the weak back air. If he got the, the strong back air, I think that was kill there. Good DI, but it might not be enough. Sawstep's so ready for these defensive options off he of the up throw. He is so strong. Sawstep's guesses are just right in every single one of these situations, and it's why he's making these games look so good for him. Xavier needs to start something right now if he wants to make the magic happen. I'm not... <laughs> I'm not sure what to do if, in this situation if I were Sasa, because or if I were um, Xavier, because everything I everything I want to throw would get stuffed out. The biggest hitboxes are so big, and I'm I'm just not entirely sure. This seems like a very dominant DK win. Oh, but that forward air from Xavier chasing the DK disadvantage, not great. Hits the header, not the usual Xavier combo route we see, but maybe going for some mix-ups. Like, why don't we bring out some fancy stuff? The up tilt by, uh, by Sasha, putting uh, Xavier into advantage. Waiting for the forward tilt, and it hasn't panned out yet. That was a really, he, ba he baited the um, the roll in with down B, with the down B, but then he's able to raw bear just to take the stop, which is very efficient. Oh, that up smash, Ooh. barely not closing it out at 77. DK's big. There's not he just gets hit forever and ever. DK doesn't play soccer. Whoa, DK doesn't play it. soccer. Xavier coming alive in this game three. And that but now he's off stage. Sasha's going to make it. This is very possible. Uh, whiffs it? We just opts for the stage positioning. This is still looking a very strong for the for, Gets the uh, down tilt, or the forward tilt. Ooh, oh, Xavier too early with the shield. I think he tried to parry it so he can get a punish, but just looking, didn't work. Looking very strong for soft step. Tournament sock for Xavier. And, you know, DK advantage is something you don't want to get hit by. Ah. You got to be play super careful. And, oh. oh! and he hits it again. The down air through the platform. Soft step coming alive, last stock. Xavier had the lead. He might throw it all the way. We will... Xavier needs to play very carefully if he makes sure he doesn't want to die to a random DK move. Well, DK, uh, so that's about 109%. Uh oh. Oh, is that oh, it? No way, that's it. Xavier is still alive. Oh, that oh, back air. Whiffs the so back air, gets hit by the up Now we're gonna let you have this equation. Oh! And kills. Xavier it's taking it. Such a close game. Xavier showing his claws and his fangs in this game three. He's gonna go down swinging. No one wants to get 3 0 Nobody. Sawstep gonna get his stage pick though. Choose this hollow bastion for it. Man, I was bummed we're not going to Dracula's Castle. That'd be such a banger. Man, these games are happening so quick too. Like talk about uh -huh. you talk to these top players. They like really take their time to set to kind of gain their composure. Both of these players are just ready to scrap. I mean, cause like to a, to a certain extent. This matchup is fun, you know? Because yeah. everybody gets to swing, everybody gets to do their part. Man, you think about it, like, being down 0-2 for Xavier, you think he'd want to take a little bit of time, and he's getting these combos, 93%. Ooh. 
That was oh, so Oh, waiting for the header spike, seeing that Celsius was going a little bit high, it just didn't quite pan out. I, I think we're seeing Celsius play really carefully. Oh, oh my oh, The that's... shield pushback with the down tilt allowed for that, the weird hurtbox shifting with the forward smash to work out. And Xavier is getting an early lead in this game four. Oh, oh barely smash. whips it. The fear of forward oh. smash. He was it either way. But this has been such a great set by both players. Xavier's quick stock and then Sasep's quick comeback has been fantastic. Both players are cooking up something extra special tonight. Sasep looking to get a combo so he can get, take back this lead. Uh, He's been very smart in advantage state this entire set. Oh, went for a really ambitious giant punch. I mean, you're, you're DK, might as well go for it, right? The DK do be eating BK. DK is always eating BK. Xavier just kind of in this like swatting the DK away sort of mode. He's trying to anticipate where he's going. Squats the soccer ball away. <laughs> Donkey's like, I can beat you. DK doesn't want to play soccer. He wants to, be, he wants to throw you up in the way. He wants to play cash with you. He wants you to keep on going. DK is a known multi athlete. <laughs> afraid, not afraid to hit the soccer ball. Uh, he's multi sport like, athlete. In Mario uh, Strikers. Oh. <laughs> uh. Oh, that giant punch finally hitting. And now, and now we're seeing uh, Sauce Car seal it out while Xavier fighting for his life. Xavier's on his tournament stock potentially here. I mean, that's what said last time too, but he ended up making the comeback. So we'll see how... So, you know, Xavier's playing really safe right now. Normally Xavier edge guards, but now he's just opting to, to ledge trap. And now it's just 54% and Xavier's got his mechanic with that deep breathing. Big combos and big damage coming from this soon. And he gets the first opening. Forward throw to Nair I've never seen before. Oh, oh my goodness. This is really scary. Oh, like, he gets clipped by the header. And he and gets and that's it. The game five. We're going to game five. Oh, my holy cow. Man, Xavier is really coming alive this last so, dock. And now uh, you got to think about the momentum change. Exactly. Right? Do we stay DK? Or is the DK not panning out anymore? I, I want to say that, like, uh, last game we talked about how Xavier went down 2 0 to someone secondary. But now we're seeing him come alive. Yeah. We're seeing him start to cook. And this has been very fun watching. And, and it goes with testament as to what kind of player Xavier is. And the faith has been put into the DK. We are rocking with it for the rest of the set. We had to hollow bash him one last time for game five between these great players. Everybody gets their, everyone gets their plays. Xavier looking for an early opening with this deep breathing. Sasev gonna get some early hits, but uh-oh. With deep breathing, that's lots of damage. Didn't get the extension he was DK hoping extension? for. DK extension? DK damage? It's almost a DK. That was ready, ready for it, but the space that I saw that was so good. This is a very tight game so far. Almost even. A DK 100, we fit at 70. It's still kill percent for we fit though. Oh, he didn't get the turnaround, I think. He was wanting in that situation. Oh, Sun that was a good play by Sasset. We're reading that. that oh, and the old soccer ball oh, has damage. Oh, now he's playing soccer, huh? Uh oh. Suddenly scary. Not looking tough. Is that two frames? That's insane. Yeah. For DK Forge is very known it. for two frames. And I mean, we saw it a lot in the, the Psionic set, yeah. where Xavier just kept getting edge guarded over and over, and we're seeing it again here with the DK just swatting him off. You don't get to come back to stage. Oh, but but now, okay, uh, that was a really strong advantage state by uh, by Sawstep. A bit outside of the range of like down special up up air, but still getting the neutral layer off stage to take to take the stock. Ooh. That was I'm, crazy. I'm not sure what that was. That was a wave balance giant punch. That was funky, but he still got hit. Yeah, I think he did the wave balance helping it, which kind of spaced him around him. Xavier just knowing the hitbox of his moves and how to hit. Early up beat from DK to try to stay alive, but back off stage already. But soccer ball hits and snipes him again. DK oh does my play gosh. soccer. He's the gold center of the World Cup. He's not going to do good. Final Messi in game five right now. <laughs> Uh, uh, Atomic and Bomb coughing baby right here. comboed and almost made it happen again. Oh, oh he's cooking. Xavier has a stock to lose. He's he's going for this hot right now. And this is Xavier's. Whoa! Let's go what do it! Was that? The reverse 3-0!
Such a forward hitting up smash. Such a play by Xavier. Wow. Don't count him out. Don't count him out. Reverse 3 0. What can you say? No one's ready for those. No words. No. Xavier, you want to come talk about it? <laughs> okay, you have some questions. What was, your, what was your mindset going into the game three on? Uh, I don't know. Like, I feel like I was just running into a lot of his moves, and then I kind of just like waited for him to like come at me and then hit him. But then during the last game, I'm like, okay, I just need to hit him once, and then literally DK gets comboed like by DK reading like like crazy. Like I can do F throw, full hop in air, falling up air. It's true on DK. Yeah. Like, uh, we're seeing you getting edge guarded, like DK forward tilt. Yeah. Over the two frames, and also versus Psyonic, who's getting all those back and stage spikes. Uh, has your off game for us stage game changed at all? Yeah, like, it's actually pretty hard because, like, we fits pretty easy to two frame. Pretty easy to two frame, so, like, he can just F tilt over and over again. And then the counter play is just to, like, go to the corner, like, go more inwards. But then, like, it makes it act. Then I, he can go off stage and hit me with the back air. So, like, I have to, it's like a lot of 50 50s that I have to, like, worry about. Yeah, well, you, it worked out for you because you were able to take that game 